Hey guys, we're back. Last episode, we talked to Nerissa and learned the true meaning behind the ribbons and that they were probably the murder weapon. And this time, we're going to go ahead to Beauty and Beast's apartment. Uh, they appear to be in the middle of a domestic dispute of when some sort. Were you going to tell me, or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle. Oh, what do you want? Well, don't give me that tone of voice. Going around knocking on doors. Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Vigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. The hell did I, I do to you? All night long from her. Who is it? The fuck? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? What the shit? I didn't do anything to him. No, he's just a jealous boyfriend. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Being a weirdo. Hmm. So, I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my mm. back. Talk about living in the past. Again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. I can hear them arguing in the other room. Out of money. And answers. That's why I called. Oh we'll dear. finish this <laughs> later. Marital we'll bliss, obviously. Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Just gonna wait for them to be done, I guess. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place? It looks, uh... Expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hi there, Someone else, you've eh? reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Hey, Being a slope? we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. 
impossible. How can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait. Who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Mm. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable I was thinking skills. That. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, Maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is... It's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her, but I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. And here's our split decision for the episode. Um, Lucky Pawn or Butcher Shop? Well, there seems to be more happening at the Butcher Shop, and I think there's more links to 
um, the girl in from the butcher's shop. And sausages. But... Sausage uh, links. Yeah, could be. It's all about the uh, Lincoln cheers. Let's go get some fucking sausage. I wow, want to know what the crooked dress. man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. But the same is true in the reverse situation. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. That was another yes and no. They wanted me to flat out kill him, I'm thinking, but... Yeah, but I don't think that um, the the debt is up to us, but we'll be fixing it as a consequence of fixing everything else, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's food around. Yeah, it's no smoking sign. I want to be slightly respectful. Oh, their drinks are popular. What's kielbasa? Not sure. Huh. It's gonna Empty. be a kind of food. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. <laughs> they support the NYPD. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Well, to be fair, that pretty much explains most of uh, New York food. Apart from apparently the pizzas, which are popular. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? <laughs> what you see is what you get. I just see that button. Meat. You'll find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Shit. Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Damn it. Get behind the counter. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like every single kind of action I movie here, I'll be right out. all right we're in a meat locker yeah they love the meat locker for like right horror now. films I'll, and all I'll sorts. right there I, I've got a bit of a mess back here what's the problem I'm just coming back to give you a hand I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. Mm. Fine. 
Fuck this. It's not for everyone. <laughs> no sweating, Sheriff. Just go on to the front. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Just open the door, Johan, and it won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I don't know who or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked men's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be... Well, well, I've got super strength, so let's bust this lock. Yeah. Things gonna be a shit storm of trouble. Then. What is this, a meth lab? It's something. No, oh, tongue of dog. It's, uh, alchemy. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. And if you hadn't warned them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? Well, did it you hasn't it? been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm going to sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. All right. Let's, uh... You know what? I'm not gonna... Sorry? Sure. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was gonna say, you're not gonna look at their package? Oh, I'm gonna look at everyone's packages. But we're gonna do that next time. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna investigate this alchemy lab for what the hell's going on here. I don't think Johan is really involved. I think he's just a victim. He just kind of seems like a, you know, someone you just push over sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He does seem like an entitled bitch, though. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Anyway, we'll find out more <laughs> about him next time. All right, bye.